Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Jerup20, back with another video, and today I'm doing a Minecraft tutorial on how to install mods for 1.614 the way I do it. But, okay, so first what you want to do is you want to open up Minecraft, and you want to run a version of 1.6.4. So let me quickly do that. Come on, Minecraft, load up already. Come on. Come on, Minecraft. And you can see I just named my profile test. Then you want to run it. Then after you run it, like I already ran it, so I don't really want to. But after you run it, what you want to do, use X app right away. But so, then what you want to do is you want to install Forage. So what you want to do is you want to go to Safari. And you want to go through this link. Files.minecraftforage.net. And then right here where it says select Minecraft version. Over here, click 1.6.4. And then you want to click 1.6.4 recommended and scroll all the way over here. And then it should say installer. Then you want to click installer. It'll bring you to an add fly link. Link, not wink. An add fly link. So let me click while it loads up. Then while it loads up, you just want to wait a little. And then you want to click skip add. Um, is it working? There it is. And then it should download for you. So right here it's downloading. And let me drag it to my desktop. So after you drag it to your desktop, this is, it should look like something with like random numbers and everything. So let me quickly just X out of this. And let me... I'm actually going to be installing two mods, Optifine and too many items. So then you want to click minimize this. And then when it's minimized, you want to you wanna open. Then you want to click just open. Because the first time you do it, it won't let you say so you want to click open. Like that. Like as I just did. And then this will pop up. Mod. And then you can look up online how to use it for a server. I don't want to do it. So first thing you do is you want to go to um, install client. And then if this doesn't show up, you want to click this. And you want to make sure it goes like this. So you want to go to like this. Then you want to go to somewhere. But the default should be like this. And then what you want to do is you want to click OK. Then it should quickly install. It usually doesn't take a while, so just let me let it load real quick. And if it doesn't load, I will just like quickly pause it. Okay, it's taking a while to load, so I'm gonna pause it. And yeah, so see you guys there. Back, it is done. So when it is done, um, something will just pop up saying like you've downloaded something. Um, we got two required libraries or something. But then after that, you want to launch up Minecraft. So let me quickly let it load up. Oh, by the way, this is actually what I did to you do Lucky Blocks mod, if you didn't know. And then over here, you want to click Profile, and then it should be called Forge. Just let me quickly delete this test profile because I'm not going to be using it anymore. Click Delete, and then want to click Delete Profile. Then the Forge will pop up, and it's going to ask you to play something. So you ask you to log in. So what you want to do is you just want to switch profiles back, and then you want to go into it, and then this should pop up, and you want to click play, and then you want to click play again, so like like what I just did, and then let it load up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it loaded up. Um, is it crashing? There it is. Here it is. Come on, a little bit quicker, please. Mojang. Then it should look like this. Um, in the bottom, it should say the version. Then it should be like MCP, FML, which stands for Forge Mod Loader. Like your Forge and random number sort of. Three mods loaded, three mods active. So you can click mods. And when you're a mod, you got the f these are the three default mods. So then you want to click done. You want to quit game. Next, I will be showing you how to install mods. So basically, after you have Forge installed, you want to go back into your Safari, and then there's two things, and you can click any mod you want that does require Forge, and comes into Dark Far. So I will be installing personally Optifine and too many items. So first thing you want to do is you just want to download them. So let me go to Downloads, 1.7 point, f no 1.6 point four, download. Also, if you want to just install it without Forge, you can just it, you, you can just do the same thing I did for Forge, and it do, will do the same thing to install. Or you can do what I'm doing right now if you want to install it with another mod. So then over here, you want to click Download. And then when you're in Download, you want it's good, a little ad should pop up. 
And then you want to drag this to your desktop. This is Optifine 1.6.4, something that jar. Get, make sure it's a .jar file. That I mean, .zip works too, but yeah. I can see um, I just lost my link. So let me go to too many items.com real quick. So you want to too many. Cancel. Too many. Okay, visit page. I don't care anymore. Okay, too many items you want to type in and then it's the forge link um i'll just put a, a download to it in the description below wait i'll be right back okay i'm back but yeah so then when you're at the link you want to go i'm not gonna do that many that much editing for this video actually i won't do that much i'm just gonna put my intro because i'm lazy because you see it's late but then what you want to do is you, you want to scroll down and then it says here 1.6.4 F and they want to click this they're shall, then it shall bring you to the adfly link let me quickly go to the adfly link there it is and you want to click over here wait the five seconds oh just ignore this they make it look like that is there just ignore the ads so oh no what's it doing there you go skip ad See, then it downloads and you want to drag the download of over to here too okay now here comes the part I, I just downloaded that's only downloading and installing forge now here comes the part to install like the mod himself ah there we go so what you want to do is you want to click up here to click go you want to click go to folder and then you want to type in squiggly line slash library then you want to click go and then it should bring you over to here into your library. If I were you, I would just bring it and drag it over. So say, um, I just open up my Finder. Let me open up my Finder. And then, like you say, you're in all your my files. Just go to, just go to Minecraft. I mean, oops, library. Then you want to go to application support. M then Minecraft. Then when you're in Minecraft, um, you see that a new thing popped up called mods. You want to click on mods. And then in here, you want to drag Optifine and too many items. And then you want to X out of this and load it up. So let me quickly load it up. Oh, by the way, this works for every mod that has that. So yeah. So let me quickly. So just let this quickly load up. Please load up a little bit faster, though. Thank you. Then you still want to use the Forge profile. So just click play. Let it load up. I gotta click on this for me. Um, I think it just might have crashed. There it is, a little. I just gotta click on it, and it should pop up. There it is. Um, there we go. Um, here, come on, a little bit faster, please, Mojang. Mojang, son. Up oh, here it comes, and you can see four mods. Four mods. Ah, it doesn't matter. Well, here's op Optifine. And then too many items. So then, just let me show you that it works, and that's just not a fake sort of. Let me type in just test. I like allow cheats and creative. So let's put it in a super flat. Create. Let it create. It will cr create a little bit faster. I mean, a little slow because it, because I am running mods and a plus I'm recording. But there it is. You can see just a quick little. If I click E, boom, you can see there. Um, there it is. Um, too many items, 1.6. And then if you want, and you open up your inventory, you can edit some options. I think I don't know how though. I think you do that for older versions. You can see you got everything. Like I can just type in stuff over here, like uh, um, fireworks, potions, enchantments, everything that you're able to do to save and stuff so yeah now let me show you that it optifine works boom boom and if I click F3 you can see it's pretty good amount of FPS for a video but yeah so that is how you ins install mods for Minecraft well I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please sure to leave a please sure to leave a like favorite and subscribe it'll help a lot and yeah so I'll see you guys next time bye